It's said that falling from a great height into water is no different than hitting solid ground. But is that really the case? To test the myth, Tori equipped a crash dummy with an accelerometer, which measures the G-force the dummy experiences during a fall. First, they dropped the dummy from a height of 25 feet. The impact force when hitting the ground was recorded at 60 Gs, but when dropped into water from the same height, the impact force was zero. Next, they increased the height to 75 feet. The dummy hit the water with a force of 29 Gs, but the same fall onto solid ground produced a massive 1,040 Gs. So what caused such a dramatic difference? To find out, they changed the dummy's orientation dropping it flat, lying down from 25 feet. This time, the impact on the ground measured 286 Gs, while the water impact was 115 Gs. Clearly, surface area plays a big role in how the force is distributed on impact. But what would it take for a water impact to feel just as intense as hitting the ground? That led to a second, never-before-seen test. Since the accelerometer only provides data, not actual physical damage, they brought in an orthopedic surgeon and an x-ray machine. This time, the test subject was a real pig carcass, chosen for its similarity to human anatomy. They sealed it inside a military-grade plastic bag and vacuumed out all the air, then lifted it 600 feet into the air using a helicopter. The first pig was dropped onto solid ground. The second, with the same weight and setup, was dropped into water from the same height. The results were shocking. The pig that hit the ground sustained 17 catastrophic fractures. Most notably, its skull was completely detached. When they opened the bag, the bones were shattered beyond recognition. In contrast, the pig that hit the water fared much better, with far less damage. So yes, there is a major difference between falling into water and hitting solid ground. Myth busted.